Okay, hi. So let's put this together. I'm not going to be very careful about uh, the dynamics because the process is the same no matter what you have. But let's do, for our purposes, we'll make this a, a, a gable roof. And we'll do that. Okay, now your question was, I'm in, by the way, for people watching this, this is a Home Designer Pro 2016, and for a cross-section I would normally use just a back clip cross-section tool. That way you can just, you're just showing what the space in the model between where you left click and where you release the mouse. <coughs> Now, uh, in uh, Chief Architect Premier, there's a uh, auto detail tool, which we don't have here in Pro, but that's okay. We can add some things. You can do everything pretty much in Pro that you can do in Premier. It just takes a few more clicks and, and uh, so forth. So I'm going to go back to plan, and let's build, uh, click on this roof plane and build framing. I think uh, the 2016, yeah, automatically build, yeah, turn it on. I'm going to do it on this roof plane as well. Okay, it's on. But obviously the framing layers are off. It's also, uh, let's go over to the build menu and build framing. And uh, we'll build wall framing. And uh, let's see what else we want. Build those, turn them on. Okay, now that we got some framing in there, I'm going to go back to the cross section. And there's no framing here. Well, you have to turn it on. <clears throat> it's on a layer. So hit the F key to go to framing. And looking for framing wall. There's framing wall. See, it's the red plus shows it's there. There's no check mark, so it's, it's turned off. We'll turn on roof trusses. I don't think there are any. I didn't create any trusses, but I want to see the rafters. Okay, now they're showing up in here. <coughs> so that's part of the work right there. Now we'll go to the CAD tools, boxes, and well, you know, an installation tool. So we'll left click on that. And uh, I'm going to left click and drag insulation. And I can put some text there with an arrow saying this is uh, R, blah, blah, blah. Where's the text tools? Let me fix the toolbars. I always get lost, lost when I don't have my uh, child tool, toolbars. I think that's under appearance. Yeah child. That's what I'm, I'm used to. Okay, now click on text, text with an arrow, and um, whatever. Arrow went the wrong way. <laughs> we put it on this side. There we go. This is very sloppy, but I'm just uh, demonstrating. Okay. Yeah, I want that to straight be straight. Okay. So there's the uh, insulation tool. We can also it's under CAD boxes insulation. I'm gonna left click and drag there. We got wall insulation and. These things you can, once they're there, you can copy paste them and alter them and so forth. We'll just copy that to the other side. Yeah, it's snapping around. So I'll use point to point move to uh, get that into place. Put that to bed. There. Okay, now if you wanted to show concrete, we'll go up to CAD, boxes, rectangular, polyline. 
and draw a polyline across there and we'll open that up and give it a concrete fill. Like that. If we wanted to get really fancy, which you may, click here, use a break line tool. Right to here, I've got my snaps on, so the little red snaps go right where I want to go to. And then a couple more breaks. This is called drafting. <laughs> not very automatic, but it is drawing. I'm not going to do the other side. You get the idea. And you could add text and so forth. And uh, so that's how that. Now, you're saying there wasn't, there's no shingles here. That's true. That's quite true. You can see the ridge cap, but no shingles. Well, if you want shingles in Pro, you just draw a shingle. I'm going to draw a close polyline there, and we'll rotate that. I'm going to hit the control key so I can control the uh, angle. I think it'd be better though if I was uh, going to draw a cad line right along the roof, like snap it to the roof. Now I've got a, a line here. I'm going to take this and uh, parallel it to that line. Okay. This is again just very rough. You can get as fancy or as involved as you want. Whoops. I meant to zoom in not to destroy the window. <coughs> now that cad line, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to take this and make it into a shingle. Let's see, my shingle ought to be about uh, 12 inches. I'm just, you can make it whatever you want. Now that it's 12, and uh, I'll snap that to there. Bring this, give this a little bit of a, whoops, a little bit of a slant. Now I'm going to use point to point move to move it right on top of the roof. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to give this a white fill. color. Now I'm going to click on this line of this polyline. Now I see I've got it a little deformed. Let me fix it up before I start copying it. I'm just going to make it match that and ma match this line here. I need to bring that up there yeah that's better now I'm going to click on this part of that polyline and open its dialog box and go to selected line and it'll tell me the angle there's the angle so I'm going to copy that angle okay now I'm going to grab that shingle and use uh, Transform Replicate and I'm going to copy that selected item uh, 20 times and I'm going to move it at this angle that I copy pasted from the, from the line and the distance is going to be the distance of the uh, object I'm going to set it to 11 inches a copy of every, every 11 inches along this vector and that many copies. Click OK. Whoops, it went the other, wrong way. <laughs> Curses. Let me hit Control Z to undo what I just did. I thought I was so smart. Well, I'll survive that. We'll try again. Or we can, uh, let's try the multiple copy tool. Let's double click on that. Whoops. 
Oh, you don't have a multiple copy tool in, in Pro. Never mind. Let's just stick with this. So we want to make a copy of the selected item. Move it 20 times. I thought that would work. I've done this before. Honest, I have. Well, I lost the angle now. I had to get that angle again. Yeah, the angle hadn't changed in the meantime. That's the last time it copied in that direction. I want it to go that direction. about minus in that figure. Try that. I don't think that worked. Well shoot. I'm failing all over the place. Let's just do it the, this way. I'll make a copy and then drag the copy down. <laughs> That'll work. It won't take forever. I thought transfer and replicate would work. It probably does if I had done it right. But this is also working. Anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> We've got shingles there now. Visible shingles. Except that one didn't go in the right place. There, that's better. I don't consider it a very important detail. You could just put some text there and say there's shingles there and who knows the difference. Yeah, that's... Those shingles that I'm putting on there are not very pronounced. <clears throat> Where's the handle on that? There it is. I see it just, I let it snap down. Anyway, that, that's putting some shingles there, and then uh, we'll take this, copy it, and drag the copy up. Shingles. And that's how you make a, a cross section or a wall typical. I don't particularly like these arrows. You've got different arrows you can pick from under the arrow. I usually use something that looks like uh, these. Okay. This, this should get you started on there. And it, I didn't say it was going to be easy. It's just this is how you do it in Pro. Um, Remember the CAD, CAD boxes, insulation. We'll create some insulation there and then rotate it for the roofs. I don't know. Depends on how you're going to insulate the roof. Okay. I'm not saying that this is a, this is not the way I would do every every one every possible. I'm just showing you that uh, this tool is flexible and you can. <clears throat> it's a little bit too deep, isn't it? All this stuff is adjustable. I'm bumping into the other cat item, so I'm just going to hit the control key and go past it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Dave. That ought to get you going and get, get things figured out. Whether you like it or not, there it is. Thank you.